So learning the ability to build habits. So you probably heard me say repetition's a mother of skill. I think that I think that might have been Jim Rohn or originally said that. I don't even remember at this point. But it's true. Anything that you practice at a lot, you're going to get good at. And all of us are innately good at certain things. And that's why, especially when you're young, like your guy's age, you got to try all kinds of different things. Like you're going to be showing real estate to see what that's like and check that out. Yeah. Shooting guns this summer with your dad, which I think is awesome. Yeah. And I'm glad to hear that because <laughs> you need to learn this stuff. Mm. You need to know your way around a gun because then you're not intimidated by it. And then you have a better understanding. And then you realize it's, once you get comfortable with it, it's like part of you. It's like a, it's like parent. conquering like a fear. Yeah. I guess I could say I'm afraid of guns a little bit. It feels like a game, though, when you're shooting them. It's just like so much power behind this little thing, and like you could literally take someone's life with it. So I feel like I shouldn't be operating it. Well, you could also run somebody over with your car and take their life. True. It's all about mindset. Um, but building habits, um, it's funny that you say, like, you say this because my mom always tells me this. Um, she says it takes two weeks to create a habit. And um, if you cheat any of those days, you're most likely not going to create that habit. But once you have that repetition for those two weeks, then you can keep it up for another six weeks and then another eight weeks and then another six months and then another year. And then you can continuously do that for the rest of your life if you keep up with it. But it's those two weeks that are essential to like keep it up and like keep that consistency so that you can create that habit. And for me and Chunky, we kind of work out like two times a week. And obviously that's not an everyday thing. So for us, it's been like four weeks to create a habit and we kind of got the habit. I feel like, yeah, no, for like, sure. I, I feel comfortable like, with like, okay, I'm getting in my car and I'm driving to go work out on Tuesday and Thursday. Like, and now it's kind of drilled in my brain. So it's overwhelming when you start, definitely, and dreadful, at least for me. <laughs> but now it's kind of like, oh, I've done this like four times, four, five, six times already. Like, I can do it again easily if I need to. So, yeah. Good answers, good answers, good answers. Okay. So, what about you, Chunkster? What you got? I feel like I've always, I talked so much about learning. I talked a lot about habits, all the other questions, but I will rephrase it in a better way. Because um, you've done, you've worked out before, but habits were a hard t thing to form, right? Yeah. Well, that's maybe, just in every aspect. Maybe talk about like your habits before you started this, like bad habits. My know? bad habits. Well, and like say, like talk about how like <clears throat> you can make a good. I don't know. You can like I mean, I was I'm habits. very good at making bad habits and not very good at making good <laughs> habits. I found that. Me too. 